Hi everybody, welcome to uh, Getting Started in Web Design. I'm Jason. Um, I was going to go ahead and show you we're starting to build this landing page. Um, so what I'm going to do is first, uh, I actually included, I pulled up a website. For those of you that are still getting started, um, brand new with Macaw, there's actually a really good website uh, that has several different videos on it, in it uh, obviously in addition to mine, but um, it's uh, on Tuts Plus. Dot com. So if you just search for getting to know Macaw's tools, uh, those are some tools that are available for you guys to go through and they're very easy to learn and very easy to use. Um, but going through back to getting started in web design, so the first landing page. So I have Macaw open here. And what I'm going to show you guys is we're going to build this top portion here today for the website. So um, what we're in order to start this, we're going to obviously have to get this background in place. Um, you can see that there's several different pieces that Macaw allows you to view uh, and have built up. So starting with um, this background here, we can see the dimensions tab here. Each one of these tabs, by the way, you can click on to minimize or maximize. So we're going to go and create a container starting at, uh, or we're going to use this tool right here, element tool. So we're going to draw it out. Um, it's going to be 80. So we want it to be 80% by 640 pixels high. So I'll go back here. It's at 80%. And go ahead and type in 640 pixels. And then we're going to go ahead and add a background to it. So this section here for backgrounds, um, we're going to go ahead and add an image. And we're going to choose from the library. And we're going to select Skyline 1. And that'll take... Um, that's the photo that we need. So now what's cool about this is you can actually uh, set a couple op uh, options for the image. So you can select that it does the true size of the photo. You can have it cover, which means that at any given point, it's always going to cover this entire screen. And then the last thing is contain. And contain basically means that no matter how big it gets, it will... Um, It'll either repeat the photo or it'll uh, show negative or black space or white space if it's not there. So we're going to select cover because we want it to show up and cover the whole screen or the whole territory that it's supposed to while you're looking at the, the item. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. So now we got our background set. A couple other things I recommend is up here you can center it. You can set absolute. You can set fixed spacing. Um, I do absolute and put it at center spacing as well. So that's all set up now. Then we go here, back to the page. Now we're going to create this. Skylines are beautiful text. Um, I used Open Sans 22 font, and it's on the left-hand side. So we'll go back to our, tu tu our tutorial page, and then uh, we're going to select the text tool here. And we're going to start in this top corner. We're going to put in, change the font. And I recommend until you know more about it, you stick to either the Google fonts, which are these um, red G's here. Uh, the Macau will actually build in the code to get the to get the right font for you. And then you also have these uh, kind of intrinsic fonts or universal fonts that are already on the machine that you have. Um, so I would select either one of those would be your best bet. So we're going to select Open Sans. We're gonna change it to 22 text. And we're gonna go back over here, and we're gonna start typing. And we're gonna have to obviously change the color, but skylines are cool. We're just gonna put that in for right now. So we can center the text, and we can select text font of white, or font color of white. Uh -huh. And we'll actually change this to one. Beautiful. So, got that on there. Um, I'm going to bold it too. So you have 300 is the lightest, all the way down to 800 is the most bold. Uh, we're going to select 700 here. So, not that. Now we'll go back and we're going to add in these individual text buttons for the, for the link. So, Home, Skyline, Support, and Contact. And I used Open Sans 16. So we'll go back. And we're going to just set them right here. Home. 
change it to white. It's already on open sand. It's already 16. Um, now, what I like to do is um, copy and paste because then you can pretty much drag them and space them out a lot easier. So double click and then you can change it. So home skylines. And then you hit the check box. And then copy and paste again. And use the alignment. Support. And the last one is contact. So, the other thing I would recommend doing is just to tidy it up and clean it up is highlighting them all. So if you hold shift or you can hold command and you can select each item that you want to um, align. There's an alignment options that pull up in the top right corner. Uh, so I'm going to align those to the bottom and then I'm going to align them to the middle because I wanted to bring these four down to line them up. So now those are all lined up. We've got our, we've got our uh, page starting to come together. Um, at any point, if you click on this, you can see, you can click on this uh, eyeball here, and this takes away the grid, so you can see what your website actually looks like. So I've got that set up, and we'll go back. Now we're actually going to create the font in the center, so the skylines make some of the most beautiful photos. So we'll go back here. We're going to add text box in, and do right here in the center for right now. And once again, change the font to white. So the skylines make some of the most beautiful photos. So I'm going to highlight it all because we want it to be similar to our other main font, our main text. Center it again. We're going to probably do this one in 20. And we're going to bold it. And we're going to shift it down a little bit. And we're going to center it. Absolute. Center and drop it right in there. Um, one other thing that I recommend to do is this rendered height. You can see that the box is obviously a lot higher up than the text is. That's the minimum height. This box is minimum. This box allows you to set your maximum. I recommend shrinking that down to close to what your size is of your text. Because then, um, like I said, this is the minimum, but that way it'll set. So like the minimum height is 27 pixels in order to contain all this. So that's what it's set to now. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go down here and add an effect. So you see this effect tab. I can do text shadowing. And so we're going to go ahead and just from any angle, 315 probably sounds nice. Um, you can actually click on it in the center if you don't want to mess around with it. Uh, and we're going to, I'm going to make it five distance. We're going to add that to it. Uh, then we're going to go up here. And so now we've got this set up. We're going to go back to our main page and we're going to add this other um, this other element. So it's actually three elements together. So you have your main text line, then you have the left part of the form, which is the input, and then the right, which is going to be your actual sign up button. So we're going to make all three elements and then bring them together. So first we're going to take some text. I'm going to pull it out here. So sign up below for the Sky of the week. And we're going to expand this out. Centered, make it white again. See how easy this is? Very simple. Absolute center spacing once again. So that's our item for the text. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in a input here. So this button is, uh, or this button is the input, or this, button, and then this one is actually to make a button. So button and then input. So we're going to select input. We're going to bring it all the way over here. What's cool about this is any typing that you want to automatically show up, like type your email here. Dot dot dot. 
So that'll actually show up in your preview. So that's what people will guess will see when they enter your website. Um, another, so we've got that item. Now let's go ahead and create our button. So a button is going to start where this one takes off. And it's going to say sign up. So pretty self-explanatory, very easy. Um, so these are all lined up and they're the same width. Or they make up these four columns. So we're going to take this button though. Because I really don't like the background being white. I want it to be something similar. So I got this eyedrop tool. Come out here. Take this color from the photo. Now that's in there. Um, I also have the ability to take the text. And I can italicize it. I can make it all caps. I can actually shrink it to 14 and then bold it a little bit more so it looks a little bit more presentable and then over here I'm going to change this to 12 font this is going to be centered and then uh, we can italicize that too make that look nice now one thing I recommend as well just to kind of finish this up is take your button that you've got here we're going to round the right edge and the left edge or the right two right edges of it and then we're going to round the left two edges of the input so they match up and so they kind of flow together so down here underneath border you're going to select one and if you hold shift you can click on multiples so we're going to change those to five actually you know what we have to do for this we have to change it to zero because that way there's no rounded whatsoever. Now we hold shift and we click these two. Go to five. So on the right hand side you got five. And then on this one you got hold shift. Take those two. On the left hit five. And now you've got rounded on both sides. And then I recommend that you select the whole item. And you do one border all the way around. But you see how it put a border in the center here? So what we have to do as we go and hit none so no border there now we're just going to take the tops or the top the bottom and the right hand side and we're going to do one we're going to take this we're going to go to none and we're going to take the left top and bottom and we're going to go to one again so now you've got them linked up in the center here so some of the other stuff is the sign up button. So you're going to want, if you go to the advanced tab, you can see what type you want to make it a reset button, a button, or a submit. This, of course, is going to be a submit button. Uh, and I'll get more into that. You can set up a link to whatever you want. It could be an internal page, like these three lines here. You can click on an actual page and it'll link to another one. So, and then you can go over here to the input uh, item and you can name it. So you can select, like I'm going to type is going to be email, and the name is going to be form uh, sign up. So very simple, very easy. You can set more effects if you want. Uh, now, what I recommend doing is you grab these items. So take this and this. I recommend you kind of merge, move them up a little bit to line them up. An element type group. So now we've selected a group that's going to be centered. Absolute spacing again. You'll notice that it kind of didn't line up. So we can double click. So if you want to ever get into in a group, you double click on the group. And then these dotted lines are showing the outline of the whole group. And you can click on each individual item. So for this, we're just going to finish it off by simply highlighting it and making it a form uh, element. So form dot sign up. And there we go. So that one's all set up. So that's it for the first video.